but don't forget it. Keep on playing, you gon' feel it. Y'all was sleeping, now you're peeping. Y'all that woman, now you need me. I'm that nigga. Don't forget it. Keep on playing, you gon' feel it. Y'all was sleeping, now you're peeping. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alexis. For those who are new, and for those who aren't new, per as you guys can see from the title, I'll be giving you guys a college room tour. This video has been pushed off for the longest, but I'm finally making this video. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to tell you guys where I got everything from, how much it cost, but I did get some items my freshman year of college, so I don't really exactly know the details, but I'm going to try my best, and a lot of things are also DIY'd, but I'm going to still tell you guys the total cost. So without any more talking, I'm going to get right into this video. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. I have this command hook that just holds my keys and my mask and stuff like that. Regular regular command hook, nothing special. And then you turn and I have all my purses on this diamond um, display, which I got from, um, I wanna say Ross for like $8. So it's not really the neatest. I just have so many purses and they're all on display right there. And then also I'm going to show you guys the inside of my closet. It's really nothing fancy. But um, this is, it's so small. Like we get one little small little closet. But I'm just keep some bags up here. Um, I keep some of my boutique items on a shelf right here. And then the other ones are tucked behind in a basket down there. Um, yeah, like I said, they give us no room for clothes. So I have all my shoe boxes up there. I keep some of my heels <laughs> tucked away in the back, and I keep like my everyday type of shoes on a little shoe shelf. But yeah, like it just it's so junky. And they give us no storage in these apartments. So that's my closet. It's full of clothes and I still never have anything to wear, ever. So I'm gonna go into my bathroom first just cause it's like the first thing you actually walk into or see when you walk into my bedroom. So honestly, it's nothing special, but I'm gonna walk you guys through all of it. Okay, so you walk in and I have my speaker here. I'm not gonna say the name because if I say the name, you know how she operates, she starts talking. So I have that. And then I have my LED remote control right here, which controls my LED lights. I just kind of turn it on, turn it off, you know, vibe, yeah. And then I have this, um, I turn my light off, okay. Then I have this little loose change holder, which I got from Hobby Lobby for, I wanna say, let me see. It says $8.99, but it was on sale, I wanna say for like 50% off. So I have that, then I have my toothbrush holder and it came with the matching um, soap dispenser, but this is the foam soap, so I just changed it out. But I got this from Ross or Marshalls, I want to say it was Ross for like $6. Then I come over here and I usually have this filled with um, Q-tips, but I'm currently out. So I just have the few that I have left in there. And then I have my lighter, which I use for candles. I have this little tray that I made, which can also be found on my Etsy site, which should be up and running, hopefully very soon. And then I also made this, which is also on my Etsy site, which holds like my everyday jewelry. And then this is embarrassing, but I have like my sinus rinse and cough drops, but that's not important. And then I come over here and I have this trash can, which I want to say I got from just a regular, regular white trash can. I want to say I got it from um, Walmart. And then I come over here and I have my candle that I got from Michaels. And I just kind of hold my Palo Santos in there because I'm, my wax is empty. So I just have some Palo Santo sticks. Have this little painting that I drew and I have this plant that I got from Fire Below. I got my wig and my wig head stand right there, period. And then I come over here and I have got this 
from Hobby Lobby, I want to say it was like seven, eight dollars as well, 50% off. And then I made this uh, myself, just put some glue down and some glitter. And I got the flowers from, I want to say, Dollar Tree. And then I have my um, towels. It looks dirty, but I promise you it's not dirty. I don't know why it looks like that. I think it's a shadow. They're not dirty though. So I have my towels right there. And my hand towel that I just kind of wipe my hands off with. And that's like turmeric because I always do like turmeric masks. Then I have my shower. Um, this used to be a pink floral shower curtain. That's why I have like pink stuff in it because it matched with the shower curtain. But I got bored so I changed my shower curtain. So yeah. And I really just like the vibe how it looks whenever... I have my LED lights on and whatnot. Okay, so I have like my little, when you after you walk into my bathroom, you walk out, this is what you see off rip. Sorry, my ring light's on. But this is what you see off rip. Um, I have my whiteboard right here, which I just kind of keep up with my monthly activities. Um, I kind of just add them on as things change or as I remember them like, Today is currently Sunday and I put, okay, today I'm shooting this video, period. Like, so I put that on there, heading home to Houston tomorrow and whatever else. So this just kind of keeps me informed on what's going on and I'll just kind of add it on as time allows. So then you enter on and I kind of have my desk area just right here. Um, I got this as a gift. It holds my phone, Apple Watch and AirPods. I put my phone charger through that. And my phone will sit right there and then I keep my remotes right here just because it's easy to grab and not to lose if I just you know keep it right here and then I have my phone on my charger which I have my plugs all down there um, as you guys can see their theme is like this accents of blue so I have this blue cup which I drink from every single day period and I have my laptop right here um, and then it's sitting on this like laptop stand which I got from Amazon for I want to say $20 and then this case for my laptop and then I have this beautiful like container this glass container it honestly just holds a bunch of junk I have like I don't know a watch band in there my LED remote for my TV and things like that just sitting in there and then I made this flowers from um, Dollar Tree and just put them into a regular mason jar I got this queen piece as a gift from a conference and it just you know shows that I'm a queen so I keep that right there and then I have my lamp which honestly I don't even use it got dust on it y'all like <laughs> I don't use this and then you come over here and I have um, my gallery wall. So I made this and I made this. This um, some canvases I got from Michaels. This one says enjoy every moment. I made it out of um, metallic markers. And then I got this as like an idea from Pinterest. And I just honestly did my best. You know, I thought it was Picasso, added the shadows and all of it. And then this is supposed to be my manifestation board, the T. Don't ask me where it is, I can't tell you. But it says you are smart, you are successful, beautiful, you would touch millions of people and money, per. And then my mom got me this um, A from, I wanna say Hobby Lobby as a gift. And also this was from Five Below. And then I have my purifier here. It was like $120 from Bed Bath & Beyond. It has different um, speed, so that's really loud. But I usually always have it on three. And then, yeah, so I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then under my desk, I just have a printer, and I kind of just throw things down here. But I have this little stand that I got from Walmart, and I just kind of keep some pins under there, some business binders and folders under there, a printer, and honestly, I don't know what's are in these bags, but yeah, I just kind of throw whatever stuff I'm working on under there. And then I got um, this little seat cover from Walmart for $5. 
in this trash can from Walmart for like $8. And that's my little desk area. Okay, so then you walk over here and I have my TV mounted on the wall. Um, I have all these cords hanging down, that's so ghetto. Excuse that. Um, but yeah, the TV mounted on the wall. Um, I have my chair, just kind of a stool here from Ikea sitting there and my AKA slippers right there that I wear every single day. And then I have this 1908 basket and um, a few AKA items in there just because I just like how it looks in there. Then I have my mirror, hey y'all, that I have right here, it's so big, um, yeah, you can just, I don't know, just love it right here. And then I have this um, A behind it that glows up in this like Louis Vuitton picture frame, but it broke, so just kind of cover it up with the mirror, which the mirror is from Ikea for like $50 before tax, but it's super big and I can't wait to actually get it mounted on my wall in my future home. So for my nightstand area, um, it's really simple. I have this diffuser right here, which I got from Marshalls for like $8. And then I have a water bottle in the back because I kind of just fill it up with that just quick and easy. I have this candle warmer, which I got from Amazon. I want to say $12, do not quote me. And then I have this little flower thing that I made myself. I got this vase from Dollar Tree and this flower from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this lamp. Honestly, I've had this since I was like five years old, like forever. So that's where, yeah, the lamp came from. And then my little sister made me this drawing and that's my simple nightstand. Okay, and then honestly, this is my favorite part of my room. I just love like the way this looks together with the greenery and my bed, I don't know. I love it. But I got this um I got this blanket from Ross for $15. Um my bed sheet is from at home. It came with the bed sheet. It came with three throw pillows, um, these two, and then one more, which honestly I think is on under my bed. And then it came with the two pillow covers back there for $50 to sixty dollars something in that range and this is supposed to be a, a full size but I got the queen size sheet just because I'd rather it kind of flow more than be too short and then I got these pillow or this pillow from Walmart um, a few years back for like ten dollars I got these two white fluffy pillows from Ross for twelve dollars together and then I just have two black pillows, but this one's a satin pillowcase, which I got the satin pillowcase from Amazon. And then for my picture frames, um, I got the picture frames from Michaels for $20 together. And then I just printed out some photos of me in black and white. The photo keeps sliding down. I keep fixing it and it just keeps sliding down. So yeah, but I got the pictures printed out for, I wanna say six to $8 for the two of them. And this is my bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you comment down below, leave a like, and also subscribe to see more from me. Um, I want to hear more from you guys, what you guys want to see from me, um, any DIYs that I showed you guys that you might want to see. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget it, keep on playing, you gon' feel it Y'all was sleeping, now you're peeping, y'all didn't want me, now you need me I'm that nigga, don't forget it